I'm Jack Simone. I'm Tim Shields. And this is the Celtics News Feed on CLNS Media. Here's your news feed for today, Wednesday, June 2nd. The Celtics season came to an end last night with a 123-109 loss to the Nets. However, the real news today comes in the form of big front office changes. Danny Ainge is officially retiring. Brad Stevens will transition from the head coach into a front office role as the new president of basketball operations. Stevens will help lead the search to find the next head coach of the Boston Celtics. Team Governor Wick Grosbeck spoke about the transition and the goals of the franchise at the announcement press conference today. Brad and I spoke this morning and committed to one another uh, that we're going to win Banner 18 or die trying. And that's the way Brad feels about it. That's the way I feel about it. And all of us here at this podium believe that uh, Brad is the person to lead us forward on the basketball side uh, as we go after that lofty goal. Watch the full press conference on the CLNS Media YouTube channel. Ainge had apparently been considering the change for months. He spoke with the ownership about his succession plan, and Stevens became their top choice. Rumors of a shakeup in the front office had been swirling, as the Celtics finished with their worst regular season record since the 2014-15 season. As the Celtics begin their search for a new head coach, a couple of candidates have already risen to the top of the list. According to Chris Haynes, Lakers assistant Jason Kidd, and former Hawks coach Lloyd Pierce are their current frontrunners. The Celtics formally announced a change via the team's Twitter, with quotes from both Ainge and Stevens. Ainge said the past 18 years have been a thrill of a lifetime, while Stevens was quoted saying that he is excited to tackle his new role. That's your Celtics news feed for today. Don't forget to tell Alexa to give you your Celtics news feed for these audio updates on the seas.